Hi guys, what's up and welcome back to my channel. I hope you are all doing good and staying safe in these times. In today's episode, I'm going to be talking about an entirely new pageant that I have not mentioned before on this channel. The name of this pageant is India's Brainy Beauty, the third season of which is happening from the 23rd of March to the 27th of March this year in Mumbai. And the exciting part is that Conquer is the grooming partner for the pageant. Now I will get into the details very quickly as to how you can register, what are the criteria because India's Brainy Beauty is an all-inclusive pageant and I am super excited to meet all of the finalists there. The auditions for India Brainy Beauty are currently open but before I dive into the registration process and the participation fee and all of those juicy details, I want to give you a little bit of the background of India Brainy Beauty. So India Brainy Beauty is a pageant that was launched back in 2019 and it is the brainchild of Archana Jain and Rabia Patel. If you don't know, Archana Jain is a plus size model. She is also the founder of India Brainy Beauty organization and she's a well-known author of books such as She's Unlimited and Unboxing Beauty. And Archana believes that there is no right age or there is no right size and she believes in inclusivity when it comes to beauty standards, which is why I love the overall concept and the fundamental principle that the pageant is following and that is how Arjuna Jain laid the foundation for India Brainy Beauty back in 2019 which is one of the first beauty pageants in Mumbai that has no barriers when it comes to your age, your height, your weight or even your language and the sole concept and initiative behind this is to empower women coming from various backgrounds. To put it in a nutshell, India Brainy Beauty promotes the motto that you are braver than you think more talented than you know and much more capable of things than you can imagine and I love that foundation and I love that message. So like I've mentioned the auditions for India Brainy Beauty are currently open and there is absolutely no eligibility criteria. So if you wanted to get into the field of glamour and entertainment and you want to give it a shot and see how far your courage and and determination to prove yourself can take you, then this is the right type of platform for you. Now while the finale of the pageant is going to be held on 27th of March, the three days before that which includes 23rd March to 25th March are basically those three days where the grooming sessions are going to happen. As a participant, you must be wondering at this stage, yes, but how do I register? How do I get in? So I'm going to leave the official website for the pageant in the description box below. So you can obviously go there, check out how season two and season one were conducted, get a little bit of more on the background of the founding members. But if you want to audition right now, you can just directly go to the registration form available on the website. And once you fill in your details, there is no registration fee at this part of the competition. All you need to do is fill out your basic contact details in the form and you have to select whether you want to compete in Miss India Brain Beauty or Mrs. category. So those are the two categories and the titles that will be given to the winners are also going to be separate in those two categories. So that means that the winners of India Brainy Beauty are going to be three winners in the Miss category and three winners in the Mrs. category. How the form works here is that if you are located in Mumbai, the form is going to auto separate all of the Mumbai contestants. Now the venue for India Brainy Beauty finale as well as for the auditions is St. Regis in Mumbai. And so here the Mumbai candidates are going to be contacted by the marketing team as soon as you fill out the registration form. And afterwards you will be called to St. Regis on the 5th of March which is the last day for the offline auditions. And because of the pandemic, instead of holding a group audition, this time the jury panel is going to be giving 30 minute slots to all the candidates and you have to go after discussing with your availability and your schedule. You can finalize that 30 minute slot for yourself along with the team and turn up at St. Regis on the given date and time for your audition. If however you are based up outside Mumbai, then you don't need to worry at all. You don't have to physically travel down to Mumbai for the auditions because it is possible to give the auditions online as well. Now here's the interesting part. The online auditions for India Brainy Beauty do not comprise of video submissions that you have to do. To make it even interesting, you are going to be giving live online auditions. Once again, if you have filled out, for instance, Hyderabad or Bangalore in the registration form, that means that you are a contestant from outside Mumbai. The marketing team will reach out to you one more time and again decide a slot and date and time with you based on your availability and the slots that are available. 
and at that given time you have to turn up for the auditions. Now that you know how the process works, how do I really get prepared for the audition, what rounds are going to happen. So the format that is going to take place for both the online and offline auditions is that there are four rounds for the audition process. Now before I move on, I want to take a moment here to thank Dermaco for sponsoring this video. Here I have the 10% niacinamide serum. Now we all know that niacinamide is a huge hero ingredient when it comes to fading away acne scars. In my previous videos, I've spoken about products that help with reducing your active acne. But once your acne is treated, if the acne scars are not treated well, then that is still a problem and kind of bugs us when we look into the mirror every time. And so I've been dealing with acne for over a year now and acne scars are something that I still have. You guys have seen my skin without a filter and without any makeup on. While it has started bothering me much lesser recently and I believe that the 10% niacinamide serum by Dermaco has played a huge role in that. Niacinamide is an active form of vitamin B3 and is the gold standard ingredient that actively works towards reducing acne scars and marks and it helps give you a clear textured skin. The 10% niacinamide serum has been a daily routine of mine. It's there on my nightstand and I use it once or sometimes even twice a day. I've finished over two bottles of the 10% niacinamide serum. If you've been following me for a while, I, you know how much Dermaco is a part of my skincare regime. And so I would highly recommend this to anyone who's gotten their acne treated but just wants to reduce the scars and get even skin instead of the bumps and the pits that sometimes we have after acne. And to further reduce your sebum production, you should replace your face wash with the nice and my foaming face wash. The foaming face washes by Dermaco has also been a part of my skincare routine. I finished one bottle entirely and I would want to mention here that whenever you're using these products, don't forget to follow it up with a broad spectrum sunscreen and do not use the acidic face washes near your eye area because that is sensitive. But if you feel like you have oily skin and you want to feel clean at the end of the day, then the foaming face wash is one of the best ingredients to incorporate. If you're interested to check out these products, then you can find them on the Dermaco website where you can use my code NIKITA2022 to get 20% off. And the products are also available on Amazon, Flipkart and Nykaa. Moving on to India Brainy Beauty and its format. For this round, I would recommend wear whatever feels most comfortable and makes you feel the most confident when you walk into a room or strut into a room, I would rather say. And just feel like you're walking like a queen when you enter that online or offline audition. Once you've done that, the second round is that you will give a ramp walk. In the case of offline auditions, obviously there's going to be a space in the Hall of St. Regis. However, if you are giving the audition from home, the team understands that you might not have a super long ramp, but just try to make sure that you set up your laptop or your phone for the call based on the good lighting and the good space type of location that you have. And remember to be wearing the right type of heels. I've covered all of these details as to what type of heels are suitable in separate videos of mine, which are always linked down in the description box below. Once you've given a ramp walk, they will evaluate you and score you based on that as well. Now, during these auditions, obviously the contestants, since they have individual slots, you get to compete and there's no short listing based on the future rounds. Then you move on to your introduction round. Again, I've spoken about how you can create a winning introduction and I also do train students for the same. So here you have the time limit for 45 seconds to give a personal introduction and to create that impact with the words that you say and with the story that you tell about yourself. So try to be unique and memorable and don't be boring or cliche in this round. The important thing to remember is that your introduction has to fit within 45 seconds. So don't go rambling on for more than a minute. Once you've given your introduction, the next round that the jury panel will evaluate you based on is the question and answer round, which means that these questions could be follow up questions based on what you've just mentioned in your introduction, or they could be entirely different questions just to get an idea and gauge your thought process, which should be very, very clear and logical, or just the way you put your thoughts together or how you respond to impromptu questions on the spot. So your mental presence, your confidence, your thought process, and your reasoning for what you answered is what is going to be measured in this round. And that is all for the audition process. It's a fairly simple audition process and the fact that every contestant gets to go to the Q&A round is something that I really appreciated in this format of auditions 
because this way you do get to have a learning experience no matter how far you go in a pageant and i believe that's the most valuable thing that you can take away and something that i like to inculcate even at concord whether or not you made it to the finale you still get to sit through the interview because in the end the motive is not to separate the contestants from the ones who made it and the ones who did not make it but the actual motive is just to build confidence in people and i don't believe that confidence comes from segregating people i want to include everyone and this is quite similar to what india brainy beauty is doing as well now once this super quick and easy peasy audition process is done within 3 days you're going to get the results so you will know whether or not you got shortlisted and selected which is amazing again because the wait when you don't know the results i know how it feels it's not the best feeling and so the process over here is also very quick within 3 days you know what to plan further whether or not you're going to say treasures for the final segment how many people you might ask are going to get selected based on all of these auditions because there are thousands of registrations coming in so just a total of 50 participants and 50 finalists is what is going to make it for those 3 days of offline grooming sessions at St Regis so you better put your best foot forward because 50 seats is a decent number but there's not a lot of chances so you got to put your first impression as the best impression and make it to those 3 days now once you get shortlisted here is where the participation fee for the pageant does come in so while there was no registration fee but if you got selected as one of the finalists the registration or i should say the participation fee for the pageant is 40000 inr which has to be paid through a certain portal and a link to the pageant organization once you've done that you've cleared the audition you've paid the participation fee start preparing for your upcoming pageant yes there will be 3 days of offline grooming sessions at st regis from 23rd 24th and 25th of march but despite that make sure you've prepared your wardrobe make sure you've been practicing your ramp walk you've been working on your fitness levels you've been working on your communication skills and all of that stuff once you reach st regis on 23rd the timings for those 3 days of offline grooming is going to be somewhere from 9 or 9:30 in the morning to 7 pm so it's going to be an intensive 3 days of grooming where this is where i come in where i will be giving two sessions on one how you can make a impressive winning introduction for your pageant so in a way i will be training the finalists for the upcoming finale that they have on 27th of march and i will also be giving a session on how you can crack your pageant interview so if you've been wanting that opportunity to interact with me to see me in person and to get training sessions from me this would be a great opportunity because i will be meeting the finalists on 25th of march which is when my sessions are scheduled and on the 27th of march i will be there at the finale as well Now after 3 days of offline grooming sessions which includes my sessions which includes fitness wellness confidence building and a lot of other such sessions which is all the skills that you need to put together for a beauty pageant platform after that on 26th of march all the contestants do get a break in between to just do some personal preparation which is much needed and on the 27th is when we have the finale Now the jury panel is not to be revealed as of this moment but if you want to be updated on that information you should go follow Miss India Brainy Beauty over on their social Instagram profiles so that you are up to date with what is happening the dates and all of such important information and on the finale the format for the finale competition now is that we start off with ramp walk rounds and there are going to be three different rounds for ramp walk so one would be a sari or an ethnic wear round the second is going to be an evening gown round and the third is going to be a cocktail dress round as of this moment now the outfits for all of these are going to be sponsored so contestants don't have to worry about these things because the official finale outfits will be given by designers so that i feel is a great opportunity for someone who wants to get into this entertainment industry as well after all the contestants have walked for the finale for those three rounds now the selection and the shortlisting process begins so 50 finalists will be cut down to 15 that's a big shortlisting criteria but 15 finalists are the ones who will make it to further rounds after you have been selected to top 15 you get to introduce yourselves again on stage in front of the jury panel 
and then you move on to the question and answer rung and out of those 15 candidates based on your cumulative scores you will be divided into three winners in each category which means that there are six titles overall so the miss india brainy beauty winner and the first and second runner up in the miss category and similarly the mrs india brainy beauty winner and first and second runner up in mrs category so those are the titles that are going to be awarded and apart from that all the other contestants and finalists also do get subtitles and sashes and trophies that will be awarded on the finale night and so that is the overall format of the competition that you need to know as a contestant as an a potential finalist right now let me know if you have any other questions or you could just drop a dm to miss india brainy beauty over on their instagram profile as well because the team can give you of course more detailed information and let me know if you are interested and if i'm going to be seeing you in mumbai on 25th and 27th of march at st regis in march this year super excited for this and super excited to be meeting all of the finalists of Miss India Brainy Beauty that is such an inclusive platform also as a contestant you should be doing your own research which is very very crucial to whenever you want to participate in any such competition so i would highly recommend that if you are interested do go through the official website in a lot of detail everything is available on the website there's so much information there are pictures and videos from their previous seasons as well the team members are mentioned there with the detailed bios of each one of them so if you want to know who you are getting to work with what is the number of people that will be there and it's just smart strategic hard work that takes you places when you go for a beauty pageant because you want to be seen as the contestant who has done their homework it will help you immensely even in your introduction and your interview rounds as well because sometimes you can connect with a judge because you know a lot about them you've done your homework you've done that background research and there are more tips that i will be sharing during my sessions i hope you guys found this video helpful and that you would be willing to check out the details and participate in india brainy beauty and i look forward to seeing all of you there and i wish all the finalists the very best of luck that's all for today's video guys i love you guys so so much and i will see you very soon in my next video bye bye